Today we are going to be modeling the addition of mixed numbers. This comes from Remote Learning Week 2, Lesson 2 for Math. That lesson is called Adding and Subtracting Mixed Numbers, and this comes from the Remote Learning Instructional Notes based on the BCPS packets. So our learning objective. We will add and subtract mixed numbers with like denominators by using models, equivalent fractions, and properties of operations in order to solve real world problems. So instead of adding or subtracting fractions, we're going to be adding or subtracting a mixed number, which means it has a whole number and a fraction. So visual models can be used to add mixed numbers. For example, we have two mixed numbers, 1 and 3 6 plus 1 and 3 6. So the first thing I would do to represent my first add-in of 1 and 3 6 is I'm going to create one whole. That whole will be split into six parts because our denominator is 6, but we still have the whole thing shaded. So we have our one whole. So that takes care of the 1. Now we have to model the 3 6. So I'm going to add another whole, and instead of shading all six parts, I'm going to be shading three parts because that is what our numerator is. And we're going to be adding that with 1 and 3 6 in green. So our first thing we're going to do is we're going to add one whole, six out of six pieces shaded green to represent the 1 in 1 and 3 6. Then we're going to add another whole, but we're only going to shade in three because that is the numerator. So when we add these together, I like to add the whole numbers first. So when we're adding mixed numbers or subtracting mixed numbers, we can add or subtract the whole numbers and then add or subtract the fractions. So first I'm going to add the whole numbers. So 1 plus 1, 1 whole, plus 1 whole equals 2 wholes. So our, in our answer, we're going to have a 2. That is going to be the whole number in our answer. Now we're going to add the fractions. So we have 3, 6 plus 3, 6. So 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6. So now I'm going to have 6, 6 because 3, 6 plus 3, 6 equals 6, 6. Now we can say that this is 2 and 6, 6. Or, since 6, 6 is also equal to 1 whole, we could say it's equal to 3. We can also use it um, on a number line. So if we have 1 and 2 thirds plus 2 and 2 thirds, our number line is going to be split into thirds. I just used uh, split into 5 wholes and then labeled the thirds in between because 5 is an easy number to use. So the first thing we're going to do, there's two ways we can do this. First, I'm going to show you how we can add all of the 1 and 2 thirds plus all of the 2 and 2 thirds. And then I'll show you a strategy you might find easier. So first we have our 1 whole. So we're going to jump from 0 to 1 in blue to represent our 1 in 1 and 2 thirds. And then we're going to jump 2 more thirds because we have the fraction of 2 thirds. So 1 third, 2 thirds. Now, we're going to use the same size jump we're going to, for our two, and we're going to have two of those whole jumps. So, one whole, two holes. That represents the two and two and two thirds. Now we need to show our two thirds. One third, two thirds. So we land on 13 thirds. So our answer could be 13 thirds if you wanted to use an improper fraction. Or, if you wanted to have a mixed number, we look at how many holes we have. So we have all the way there, we have one hole, two holes, three holes, four holes. We're not all the way at five holes yet, so we're at four holes. So it would be four and one-third, because it takes one more jump to get from four to thirteen-thirds. Either way that you do it is fine. Thirteen-thirds or four and one-third. Now the other way you could do this is the way I showed you in the first example. So we could add the whole numbers first. So I'm going to have my number line again, and this time I'm going to add one full jump plus two full jumps. So the one is from the first add-in and the two is from the second add-in. So we have one plus two gets us three. So we know that that's correct. Now we need to add our fractions. So I'm going to have two-thirds that are representing the blue two-thirds, plus two-thirds that are representing the green two-thirds. It still gets you to 13 thirds. And you could also say it the same way, you could say four and one-third. Whichever way is easier for you, I personally like 
adding the whole numbers and then the fractions, but whichever way works for you.